Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster, and in this video, we're gonna look at the Facebook Group Members Export Phantom, available on phantombuster.com, which will help us extract the members of a Facebook group. With this Phantom, you can export Facebook Group Members into a CSV file, extract up to four to 5,000 members of any single group that you're a member of, and scrape basic profile data, including name and profile URL that you can use as the first step in any Facebook workflow. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. Next, I'm gonna use the left-hand margin and filter by Facebook, and then I'll see Facebook Group Members Export. If I click on the title, I'll be taken to the Phantom Overview page. Here's where I can get an overview on exactly how this Phantom works. And if I click on the Tutorial tab, I can get a step-by-step -step tutorial of exactly how to set up this Phantom. All right, next I wanna choose Use This Phantom. So you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So all you need to do now is click on Connect to Facebook. Next, I'll click Save. Now here's where you tell the Phantom which groups you wanna scrape. You have several options here. You can use the URL of a single Facebook group, the URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of Facebook group URLs. You just need to make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly accessible. So I've already gone up to Facebook and I'm gonna use the LinkedIn Growth Hackers Facebook group. So I'm gonna to go to the URL and select all, right click and choose copy, and then head back over to my Phantom and in the input section, I'll right click and choose paste. There's also several spreadsheet settings so that if you're using a spreadsheet with multiple columns, you can tell the Phantom which column heading contains your Facebook group URLs. But since I'm using a single Facebook group, I'll close this and click on save. Now here's where you choose the number of members to extract per group. Now keep in mind there's a limit to how much you can automate on Facebook. We recommend you process a maximum of four to 5,000 members per group in order to keep your account safe. If you bypass this by too much, you'll have to update your session cookie more often. And then if you leave this input section empty, the Phantom will attempt to extract as many members as possible. There's also the number of groups to process per launch. So if you're using a spreadsheet, you can limit the number of groups to process every time you launch this Phantom. Now this only applies when you're using a spreadsheet or CSV file as an input. And if you leave this input empty, the Phantom will attempt to process all of your groups in one launch. You can also choose to remove duplicate profiles between groups. Under the results file settings, you can also choose to rename the result.csv file that gets output. And if you're using a spreadsheet and you wanna keep some of the fields, you can tell the Phantom which fields to keep in your result CSV file output. But for now, everything looks good. So I'm gonna close this and click on save. Now here's where you tell the Phantom how often to launch. You can choose manually or repeatedly and you can choose in the dropdown how often you want to run this every day. There's also some advanced settings for running this repeatedly. You can also choose every time another Phantom finishes or just to run this Phantom once. For now, I'm just going to choose manually and you can also choose some notification settings. For now, I'm just going to leave this as none. Under the advanced settings is where you can set up a proxy. Now, we recommend that you always use a proxy when doing anything automated on Facebook. So you can choose Phantom Buster Proxy, HTTP, or Random Proxy from a pool. And if you go to our help center, you can find the article, how and why to use a proxy. I've already set up my proxy on Bright Data, so I'm gonna choose my Bright Data Proxy. And then there's other folder management options at the bottom. So everything looks good here. I have my proxy from Bright Data set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on Save. So now we're at the Facebook Group Members Export Phantom console, and everything is set up. So all I need to do to launch this Phantom is click on Launch. And depending on how many group members you're extracting, this may take some time. 
All right, so now my Facebook group members export phantom is finished running. If I wanna get a preview of all of the Facebook group members that I've extracted, all I need to do is go to the result.csv file and click on the I preview icon. So this will give me the profile URL, name, first name, and last name, profile picture, and a host of other data that I can use as part of my Facebook lead generation strategy. If I wanna download this CSV, all I need to do is click on download CSV and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was the Facebook group members export phantom. To get started using this phantom, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.